What's up guys welcome to 44th Ruby tutorial this is the continuation of the previous tutorial this is Strix from SmartHerd now let's continue our coding now till now we have coded this much class menu two functions one constructor get menu choice then we have defined an object menu and passed five options like this now let us define a while loop in order to cycle the choices unless the user enters quit let us define while then within the bracket we have to let's say choice equal to menu dot get underscore menu underscore choice let's check the spelling get underscore menu underscore choice yeah it's correct now this variable choice is getting some value now let's check our this function get menu choice here we are not returning any value so let us return what let's return this return space user underscore choice so whatever user inputs one two three four five whatever that value is getting where is received by this choice this one now let's write till it is not equal to what menu dot length underscore quit now this menu underscore length quit its value is what its value is here menu underscore args dot length now this gives the value of the length of the array here our length of the array is 5 now this length underscore quit is getting the value 5 so till user enters 5 execute this loop that is the main thing what we are doing here so till user enters 5 we are executing this loop we are executing whatever we are writing here so let us define our case case statement i have not discussed with you earlier i will discuss it for now it's very easy case when one then put us please wait your order for what pizza has been placed like this now similarly here also again when 2 when user inputs 2 then again let's copy it and paste it here our second option was I think burger now user inputs 3 so again this time it's sandwich yeah now our fourth option when four user inputs I think juice he is quite thirsty now for this case we have to write the end statement also like this let's indent it yeah we are now good to go now what we have done here is we have just defined a while loop till user inputs if user input one then print this if user input 2 then print this then if 3 then this then 4 then this like this now if user inputs what if user input 5 then this condition becomes false and our program end finally like this now hopefully let's execute this program if everything is correct yes let's check the output yeah here we go here we get the menu pizza burger sandwich juice quit now here if you input like one hit enter what the heck I'm getting the error undefined local variable or method user ch oh I've just done some mistake here user quiz yeah here it should be ch now let's save it again and execute it yeah here we go now again let's type 1 yes when I hit 1 
then please wait your order for pizza has been placed then again i have been provided with another menu like this now again if i enter 4 then again please wait your order for juice has been placed when i entered 4 like this now if i entered 5 when i entered 5 then nothing is printed our program ends so in this way guys we learned a very logical example how to print the menu take the user input and we combined many things like classes getters then case while statements like this this is a new syntax case then end within the case we have to write when one when two when three when four like this whatever user inputs accordingly the statements are getting printed so nothing very difficult quite a very easy and logical example i have given you so thanks for watching guys stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video this is shakes signing off